Hey there, and welcome back to Utility Sports. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the QB carousel around the league. Obviously today, Carson Wentz was traded to Indianapolis, but now we have to kind of look at how does the rest of the league play out because we could see probably 10 or so te teams make a new quarterback change ultimately. So kind of looking around the league, we jump to first to Las Vegas. I think Derek Carr will ultimately stay in Las Vegas. I think there's going to be a, be a little bit of rumblings about him possibly being dealt, but I think, I think at the end of the day, they are going to keep Derek Carr around. I'm not sure about the status of Marcus Mariota, but at this point, I do see Derek Carr still being the quarterback for Las Vegas. If we jump over to Washington, I think that's going to be interesting. I do think that Alex Smith will resign with Washington. There has been rumblings that he might go to Jacksonville to reunite ultimately with Urban Meyer, but I feel like Jacksonville is prepared to start Trevor Lawrence once they draft him. So I, I really don't see that as being a, a landing spot unless he wants to be the backup there in Jacksonville. But I think Washington and Alex Smith would be motivated to get a deal done. So I think that's ultimately what will happen. Let's move over, move over to New England. This is a team that is very, very much in the air right now. Cam Newton will not be back. I think we all kind of know that at this point. But I do think another guy that we need to consider is a possibility of Jimmy Garoppolo being traded to New England. I'm not exactly sure what that comp would kind of look like, but I think it makes a lot of sense for both sides. However, I'm not exactly sure if what Sam Fran's plan would be unless they want to go with the quarterback in the draft. A guy like Trey Lance might be available with their selection. Otherwise, they would move up for a quarterback. It really kind of depends on how they feel and the direction they want to go. But they were able to win with Jimmy Garoppolo, so I'm not exactly sure if, if they would be motivated necessarily to make a move like that. We could also possibly see Kirk Cousins being moved to San Francisco in a swap with Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't know the likelihood of that, but I think that's something that's kind of fun to, to keep in mind as this offseason progresses. Obviously, Minnesota is going to try to be aggressive in terms of, you know, making it back to the postseason. So we'll have to see how that kind of plays out. But that, that is a possibility. I think it's more likely Jimmy Garoppolo goes back to New England than to Minnesota in a swap. But I guess we'll see. Another team that we have to talk about is the New York Jets, because for me, I think they make the splash of the offseason and they go get Deshaun Watson. I think ultimately the New York Jets will be motivated to make a move. Obviously, they get a franchise quarterback. Deshaun Watson listed them as one of his top priorities in terms of where he wants to go. However, it came out this week that he he kind of pulled back a little bit on that because he knows what's going to happen to the Jets if they have to give up a ton of draft compensation. He will end up with the same situation that he had in Houston. Not a lot of guys to throw to, just not the, the true weapons that he's looking for. Obviously, um, I, I'm not sure if Deshaun Watson still is in that same headspace. I, I think that he'd be kind of motivated to go to Miami right now because obviously they are building something um, pretty special there. Just all around, they've done a really, really nice job with the infrastructure of that team. Brian Flores has done a phenomenal job with that Miami Dolphins team. But let's kind of look at the Chicago Bears. I think they're kind of a wild card in all this ultimately because Nick Foles will not be back as the starter. I, I thought there was a possibility that Carson Wentz ended up going to Chicago, but that clearly doesn't play out. I think that Cam Newton could be a player here for the Chicago Bears, just considering that, I mean, they're, they're looking for a more dynamic quarterback. Obviously, Cam Newton kind of gives them that. It really depends on how they feel overall about Cam. I'm not exactly sure if that's the direction that they're going to want to go, but um, I think that is something that's not been talked enough about. Obviously we see with Detroit and LA, they have their quarterback situations figured out. Um, I, I think that we do need to continue to monitor what the Chicago bears are doing because they're in a weird spot in the draft where do you still want to take a quarterback with your pick because you're sitting at pick 20 and is there going to be that right quarterback for you? whether it be possibly Mac Jones or Kyle Trask. I guess we'll have to kind of see that situation play out if they want to really attack it during the draft or if they're going to want to sign a veteran or trade for a veteran as well. I think that's all in the cards for the Chicago Bears. But I once again, I think that could be a Mariota landing destination as well, just considering that Chicago is 
looking for possibly a more mobile guy, just, just considering the history of Matt Nagy and what he likes to do uh, with his offenses. I think that is something to actually monitor in this situation. Uh, let's think also the Cowboys, I think it's pretty clear and obvious that Dak Prescott will be a priority. I think they're going to franchise take him this year, give him an opportunity to ultimately re reprove himself, which is really unfortunate that he has to do that, but they have to know that long-term they can feel comfortable giving him that big time contract that he will likely deserve. I do think that's something that, you know, he, we have to, we have to give him a, a lot of props for what he's been able to do in his career, but Ultimately, he, he's been a true leader in that Dallas Cowboy locker room. I, I do like Dak Prescott. I think he will get that long-term extension one day. But obviously, they're, they're going to just tag him and kind of go from there. I, I guess that's something we're going to have to monitor. Um, but let's talk about the Houston Texans a little bit in that deal. They end up getting Deshaun, or they get Sam Darnold back in that. And I think that's a building block quarterback for them. I, I'm not I'm not the biggest believer in Sam Darnold, but I think they will go in with that headspace of thinking, you know, Sam Darnold just needed a few more weapons around him. Maybe we'll be able to provide that, which is unfortunate for Houston. They don't have their first round pick this year. That that went to Miami in that Laramie Tunsil deal. So I, I think that for the, the Houston Texans, that's kind of the direction they're going to go is to get that that proven quarterback because they don't have the they don't have that pick in the draft to be able to address it. So I think ultimately in whatever trade they have going on with Deshaun Watson, they're going to require a quarterback uh, back to them. Obviously with, with Sam Darnold, he, he's one of those younger guys. I think he's only 23 years old still. So it's like you know, Joe Burrow coming out of college last year. He was only, he was 23 and that's the age of Sam Darnold now. So you feel pretty comfortable and, and ultimately um, you're going to have to make a decision if you want to take that fifth year option after this. So a little bit of things to monitor for them. I think, you know, kind of looking around the league, um, let me let me think of who else could be a possible situation where there's turnover at quarterback. I think Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh's another team that we have to really consider just because Big Ben's got a big cap number coming up, and I'm not sure if the Steelers are ultimately going to be motivated to pay him that this season. So is it possible that we do see a Big Ben to Chicago? Maybe. I, I'm not exactly sure what Big Ben's market's going to be. Obviously, he's... He's, I think, 38 now. Uh, I, I don't know if there's a huge market for Big Ben. Obviously, Pittsburgh wants to keep him around, but at the cap number he is going to commend, maybe not. So that, that, that could be an interesting situation. But if there is a potential suitor, it would be in the NFC. I think that's New Orleans. Obviously, they, they feel like they are very, very close to, to ultimately reaching the pinnacle of sports and going to the Super Bowl. I think that would be a quarterback they would be kind of interested in. Obviously, he, he knows how to win the big game, but they don't have a proven quarterback on the roster right now. They're going to have to re-sign Jameis Winston or Taysom Hill um, will be around for them as well. But if they feel that Jameis Winston is the, the possible future, I, I would be kind of shocked. But I do see a pathway where he does re-sign and they do give him a chance. I, I don't think they believe in Taysom Hill as a franchise quarterback. Little disclaimer, I don't think he's a franchise quarterback either. But just kind of looking at that, I, I think Jameis Winston, I think they've been kind of uh they've been kind of hiding him this year. They didn't want a lot of teams to get a look at him, just considering they were hoping to maybe lock him down on a cheap contract for a multi-year deal. Cause maybe he's capable of, you know, potentially being a franchise quarterback in New Orleans with all the weapons that he has like Kamara and Michael Thomas. I, I do think there is a pathway where he could become a pretty good NFL quarterback. Obviously he got LASIK done. Everybody makes the jokes about LASIK Winston. I, I do think there is a chance that he could be a quality starter in the NFL, but for new Orleans, they have to figure out the cap there. There's a lot of issues. There's going to be a lot of guys that have to go. I'm not exactly sure all the restructuring it's going to, they're going to have to push money back. They're going to have to do, get really, really creative with their team. So obviously that's another team that we have to monitor. Also, I want to conclude with the Atlanta Falcons because I think it is noteworthy that it is possible that Matt Ryan is gone, but I don't see that entirely likely. I think it would be more of a trade rather than a release, but I'm not exactly sure who would be motivated to do it, whether it be, you know, Pittsburgh, possibly if the whole big Ben thing goes sour or a team like new Orleans, it's going to be a team that that's pretty close or a contending team that would be motivated to do it. 
Also, we could see a team like New England as trade for an established you know, veteran quarterback as well. If they feel like they're close, it really kind of depends on the state of the franchises with these teams. So I do want to conclude with that. Thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe if you do enjoy NFL content. Also leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Thank you.